Hi folks, this is Alan, and I'm back with another movie review for you today. And today I'm going to be reviewing the brand new 2018 film version of Tomb Raider. This is the third Tomb Raider movie, and uh, the first two starred Angelina Jolie. This new version stars Alicia Vikander as the latest incarnation of adventurer Laura Croft. And the plot of Tomb Raider 2018, reading it off the uh, internet here, is as follows. <clears throat> Laura Croft is the fiercely independent daughter of an eccentric adventurer who vanished years earlier. Hoping to solve the mystery of her father's disappearance, Croft embarks on a perilous journey to his last known destination, a fabled tomb on a mythical island that might be somewhere off the coast of Japan. The stakes couldn't be higher, as Laura must rely on her sharp mind, blind faith, and stubborn spirit to venture into the unknown. <laughs> and that is your plot of Tomb Raider. Alrighty then, Tomb Raider. As I say, this is the third Tomb Raider movie that was made, and as I'm sure you all know, Tomb Raider is based on the popular video game of the same name, in which you have a female adventurer named Laura Croft, who goes on various different adventures uh, in which her life is at stake, but the girl certainly knows how to pack a pistol or two, and she also knows a thing or two about a bow and arrow. She's got really great fighting spirit, and she can run really fast. And, uh, yeah, I mean, this is basically a movie based on a video game, plain and simple. Uh, there were a pair of Tomb Raider movies that were made in the early 2000s, both of them starring Academy Award-winning actress Angelina Jolie. But this time around, you've got Academy Award-winning actress Alicia Vikander uh, starring as Laura. And uh, Alicia Vikander, this is the very first time I've ever seen Alicia Vikander. She won her Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress a couple of years ago uh, for the movie The Danish Girl, which I did not see. I also know that uh, Vikander was also uh, known for playing the uh, robot in the cult sci-fi classic uh, Ex Machina. Uh, but this is my first time seeing her. And uh, I have to say, she's definitely a different Laura Croft from Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie's Laura Croft is based on the original incarnation of uh, Laura Croft. Um, and the original inc incarnation of Laura Croft was very, you know, buxom and dressed in very skimpy clothes. In fact, if you've seen the, the latest comedy film Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, uh, Karen Gillan's character is basically a spoof on that original version of Laura Croft, uh, played by Angelina Jolie. But this latest incarnation of Tomb Raider is based on the most recent video game version of, uh, of Tomb Raider that's been released, and so the, the uh, character of Laura Croft has gone through a, a makeover, if you like. Uh, she's not as buxom as she was before, her clothing is not as skimpy as it was before, and she's put in perilous situations where she could die a horrible, horrible death. <laughs> this, uh, this latest video game uh, version of Tomb Raider and this latest movie version of Tomb Raider is based on the latest video game version of uh, Tomb Raider. Uh, again, Alicia Vikander's Laura Croft, not so buxom, her clothing not so skimpy, but she's just as tough, just as brave, and um, I think just as likable as what Angelina Jolie did with the character. Um, I think Alicia Vikander is very appealing in this movie. I, I liked her very, very much as Laura. And uh, the woman is fit. <laughs> fit, fit, fit. Um, great action scenes with her. Uh, she practically does all of her own stunts. I'm sure there were a few stunts where they absolutely had to bring in a stunt woman uh, to, to do the stunts for her. But there's no doubt that uh, Vikander had to do a lot of her own uh, action stuff in this movie, and she does it all very, very well. And I do think she is very appealing uh, in this movie as as Laura Croft. Um, it could be said that this latest version of Tomb Raider is basically an origin story uh, for Laura um, because um, she doesn't seem to become the real true Laura Croft that everybody knows from the video games until the very end of the movie. Uh, I wish I could tell you what, what that significant moment is, but I don't want to spoil it for you. But, you know, she, she's learning how to be the definitive Laura Croft, uh, in this, in this particular film version. And it's not till the very end of the movie that she becomes the official Laura, you know, kind, kind of like what, what James Bond went through in, in Daniel Craig's first film as James Bond, uh, 
uh, Casino Royale. He is James Bond, of course, but it isn't until the end of the film that he becomes the real James Bond. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink um, at the very end of the film. So basically that's what you get here in this film version of, of Tomb Raider. Um, it is basically an origin story for, for Laura Croft. What made Laura Croft the real Laura Croft that everybody knows and loves uh, from the video games. Um, I think the action scenes in it are great. As I've said, I really, really like Alicia Vikander a lot. I think she's very, very appealing as Laura Croft. Um, she does a lot of great action stuff. And again, the woman's very, very fit. I like her. Um, as far as the supporting cast who are with uh, Alicia Vikander, um, I guess the standouts for me would be Dominic West, who plays Laura's uh, lost father, Lord Richard Croft. I like him very much. I, I really, really liked him very much. And I... I think he's very, very appealing. I like the father-daughter dynamic that he and uh, Alicia Vikander have as you know, later she finds him and um, we get to see their, their you know, father-daughter relationship for a little while. And I think the two of them have really good father-daughter chemistry there. So I really liked him a lot. Uh, Walton Goggins plays the villain Vogel, uh, which according to Wikipedia, he's a rival archaeologist of Richard Crofts and a member of Trinity, a shadowy organization. And yeah, he is suitably evil and uh, cold-hearted, and uh, I thought he was very good as the villain uh, in this story. And I guess also worth mentioning would be Daniel Wu as Lu Ren, uh, the ship captain who helps Laura in searching for her father, as described by uh, Wikipedia here. Again, very, very good. He's almost like a romantic interest for Laura Croft, but they don't quite get romantic. There may be a little bit of flirtation there, but it doesn't go beyond flirtation. But, you know, he's basically uh, Laura's friend who goes on the adventure with her uh, to the island. Now, it could be argued that, uh, that Tomb Raider is, uh, it pretty much gives you what you expect in a, in a video game adventure movie. Um, I mean, we know Laura Croft is going to survive the film. I mean, if she doesn't survive, you, then you don't have a movie. <laughs> you know, that all the action scenes are going to be based on the video game. Um, and you know Laura's going to survive no matter what. But I think the fun of Tomb Raider is seeing how she survives. And seeing all of this stuff from the video game uh, brought to life on the big screen. Um, another thing... Uh, that I have to say about this new version of Tomb Raider is um, it has a more serious tone to it than the two Angelina Jolie movies. Uh, the, the two Angelina Jolie movies, they were fun. I liked them. I enjoyed them. I liked Angelina Jolie as Laura Croft, but they were, they were both more uh, cartoonish. They were both kind of silly uh, in tone. I mean, likably silly, fun silly, but silly. This latest version of Tomb Raider uh, takes Laura and her adventure uh, and her story more seriously. There's a darker tone uh, to this particular Tomb Raider. And some people might find that a turnoff, but personally, I liked it. I liked that this was darker. I liked that it was serious. I liked that they were taking the material seriously. Um, and I do think that uh, Laura's relationship with her father is done better in this movie than it was done uh, in, the in the Angelina Jolie movie, where she was acting alongside her real-life father, John Voight. Um, Apparently, Angelina Jolie and John Voight, not so friendly with each other these days. <laughs> but, I mean, they co-starred together uh, in, in uh, that Laura Croft Tomb Raider film from 2001. But here, I thought Dominic West and Alicia Vikander had better father-daughter chemistry than Angelina Jolie and John Voight did. <laughs> and Jolie and Voight are, are really uh, father-daughter in real life. But I think Vikander and Dominic West have better father-daughter chemistry in this one. Um, the action scenes are very well done. Uh, I liked all the stunts. Um, the CGI work in this movie, I think, is very good. Um, I did like the, uh, the darker tone to this movie, as I've said before. Although it could be argued when, when Laura makes her first kill in the movie, it's a bit uncomfortable. But at the same time, I think it's an important part in Laura's growth as the action-adventure hero... Uh, that that she becomes later on so it's it's uncomfortable but i think you know it's it's important that that moment in the movie is there um it could be argued that laura takes you know so many hits 
and so many, you know, injuries. And the fact is, in real life, she would be dead. <laughs> uh, but, you know, this, this is a movie that's based on a video game. I'm not going to be too critical of some of its, uh, uh, you know, fantastical action scenes, if you like. I think they're fun. I mean, just, just that one action scene with the broken down plane hanging over the waterfall and Laura has to jump <laughs> across the plane and then the plane starts to fall and Laura has to climb out uh, before the plane goes over the falls uh, and, and her hanging over cliffs and, and you know barely missing these, these blades that, that come shooting at her and she barely misses the blades. Uh, her jumping across the ravines and, and whatever else she has to jump across. I think all of that is fun. I thought the actual tomb raiding moment when we finally get to the tomb, that's also fun. Um, there may be some some moments in the film that, that linger a little too long on, on Laura solving puzzles, like the puzzle she has to solve to get into the tomb. There's also uh, uh, a, a booby trap where the floor is falling away and she has to do some puzzle work to stop the floor from falling away. Maybe that scene went a little bit too long but but overall i'm not going to deny the fact that i had a good time watching this new version of tomb raider and again i cannot stress enough i really do like alicia vikander in the role of of laura croft she's different from angelina jolie who was also very good vikander is just different and uh, she she gives laura a different coat of paint and i like what what she does here and i think she is a very appealing laura croft uh, the last thing I'll say about this new version of Tomb Raider is that they obviously leave the door flung wide open for a sequel at the very, at the very end of this movie. Um, I don't know if it's going to get a sequel because I think the box office returns on this movie are not very big. And I think that's a shame. I mean, I really do hope that there will be another Laura Croft uh, movie because I would really, really like to see Alicia Vikander uh, one more time as, as Laura Croft. Uh, especially now that she's officially the real Laura Croft, as she becomes at the very end of the film. Um, but uh, again, the box office on this movie, not particularly good. So who knows if they're going to do another one. But I would just like to cast my vote and say, yes, I would like to see another Tomb Raider movie with Alicia Vikander as Laura Croft. I'll be there. I'll go see it. Uh, would I buy Tomb Raider on DVD? Eh, I don't know. I'm kind of waffling about that. Maybe, maybe not. But I think it's definitely worth seeing. I think it's a lot of fun. And again, you've got Alicia Vikander, wonderful in the role of Lara Croft. And I think she has a good supporting cast. I like the action scenes. I like the CGI. And overall, I had a good time. So while Tomb Raider is not a great movie, I think it's certainly a good movie. I enjoyed it. So on a scale of 1 to 10... I will give Tomb Raider 2018, I will give it a solid 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 for the 2018 film version of Tomb Raider. And there you go. That's my review of Tomb Raider. So this is Alan. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe down below. And I'll be back next time with another movie review. Until then, see ya.